I would like to thank you for tuning in again today. And I've got a topic today. Today's topic is the voices we hear. I wanted to talk about this topic because I've been so challenged recently myself to think about the type of thoughts that come through my head. And I started paying a lot more attention to the thoughts that come to my head. And this is how I came up with this topic with the help of the Holy Spirit to help me and to help you as well. Now, about the human voices, the voices that we hear, technically, there should be at least four voices. I don't know if you're already aware of this. We've got four voices that the human, as human beings that we listen to. Everything falls within this category. Maybe there may be more, but I'm only aware of four. Yeah? The first one is the voice of logic as in common sense. Number two, the voice of the flesh, as in the, 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 the love of life, the, the pleasure of life, and, you know, things to do with the flesh. That's the second voice. Voice number three is the voice of the spirit, like our spirit, and the voice through the, 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 the spirit of God. Those two are intertwined into one. Well, the Bible says that the spirit of man is the candle of God, is the light of God, so the, the spirit of God sits within our spirit, especially if you're born again. And the voice number four is the voice of the devil, as in the demonic, uh, demonia. So four voices. Now, this is the reason why I'm talking about this. Usually, if you cancel the voice of logic, the common sense, and the voice of the flesh, the Bible says that we are dead to our sin nature, to the flesh, through Jesus Christ anyway. We are dead to sin. We shouldn't be listening to the voice of the flesh. That spirit, that, that, that voice that speaks to you, you want to pray, the body is telling you, no, I don't want to pray. I want to sleep. I'm tired. I want to eat healthy. He's saying, no, 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 we're not eating healthy. I don't want the healthy stuff. I just want the junk. Just give me junk. That kind of voice, I, I think you know what I'm talking about. So if you cancel the logic... If you silence the, the logic and the voice of the flesh, usually there's two main voices that are constantly contending within us. The voices that you're most likely to hear all the time. The voice of God. As human beings, we are, I believe that we are engineered, we are created to hear the voice of God more than we can think. We are created to, to pay attention to the, word, to, to the voice of God, but there are reasons why we're not able to Hear the voice of God. Just hang in there. Bear with me. Now, the voice of God and the demonic voice, the, the voice of Satan, the enemy, that constantly speak within us. The voice of God is a voice of guidance. But the spirit, the, the voice of the, 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 the enemy, the, the, the demonic, the demonia, is the one that shouts the loudest. Most of the time, God is speaking at the same time as the devil is speaking. But the Bible says that the, the, the voice of God is a still, small voice. You have, there has to be stillness within you to be able to hear him. If there's a lot of noise, there's a lot of love going on, chances are you will not hear him. You need to be still. To quieten your spirit to be able to hear him. Because the other voices, the other voice that seeks to be heard the loudest, the, the voice of the, 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 the enemy, always shouts a lot louder. You remember the incident with the, uh, the man of God, Elijah? When God, when he went to God saying, oh, I'm done here, I don't want to leave anymore, blah, blah, blah. And God was like, okay, go to the mountain, I'll speak to you there. But before he could get to that mountain, different activities happened. The storm, the earthquake, things that are shouting the loudest. But he waited for the still small voice. The Bible says that those things happened but God was not in them. God is not always in the things that shout the loudest. God is not always in that voice that is shouting the loudest in your, in, in your thoughts. Now, we're talking about the two voices. We've canceled out the other two. We're talking about the two main ones. Now, what I've started doing recently is recognizing that there are so many thoughts that come through our head constantly throughout the day if you pay attention. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. 
You see? When thoughts are going through your head, a lot of them will make sense, but it doesn't necessarily make them true. So you have to learn to separate your facts, to get your facts straight from the fiction. Yeah? Know which is tr uh, truth and which one is fiction, basically, because the, God is speaking and the devil, the devil is also speaking. So I've categorized these particular voices into two. Now imagine this critical spirit, the, the, the voice of the critic, the devil, as the, the, the big C, the, C, the small C, basically, not even a big C, this small C, Mr. Critic. And then you also have this big C next to it. Let's call him the coach. So the voice of the coach is the voice of the Holy Spirit. And then you have this voice of critic, which is the voice of the enemy, constantly competing. Now, the coach, the Holy Spirit, the Bible calls him a helper. Yeah? When he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will teach you all things, all truths. He will teach us the things that the Lord has already taught us. To, he will remind us of all the things that the word of God says. He will lead us. You see, is is a, is a, what's the word? The, the voice of God, the, 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 the coach, let me, I'm calling him the coach. The voice of God will convict you of sin, but he will not condemn you. But the voice of the critic, which is the devil, he will condemn you. You've done something who const consistently condemn you. But the Holy Spirit will tell you, okay, he'll, he'll show you that, look, this here is sin. He'll show you a way of sorting that out. But the enemy will remind you how you have sinned, how you can never get things right, how you're the worst person that ever lived because of what you've done. That's the voice of the critic. Now, what I've been doing personally, and I'm hoping that you learn something from this. As I'm going about my day, I learn to recognize what each voice sounds like. Now, the voice of the critic, the devil, will sound something like, I'll give you an example. Will say things like, oh, why did you say that? Why did you start that YouTube channel? Oh, you're not in the category of people that should be doing that. That's not for you. Oh, you can never become that. Oh, you've made another mistake again. Oh, you're too fat. You're too slim. Oh, you've messed up again. You're always messing up. You say something to somebody. It's like, oh, what did you say that? I, I, I hope you guys can relate. You feel that thing that's almost kicking. Why did you do that? You're embarrassing yourself. Something like that. That's the voice of the critic, the enemy. But now, the big C, the coach, the good spirit, the good voice, the voice of God, the coach, the Holy Spirit, will say something like, oh, godly, you can go for that. You can give it a try. You're going to be fine. That opportunity is also for people like you. Godly, you can do it. Do you know you can make it? Do you know you've done very well today? It's, it's a positive voice that will remind you that, oh, you're not a bad person. You see? That will, will remind you of the promises of God. See, the two are con constantly competing. So when I'm going about my day and th those negative thoughts start to come into my head, I quickly counteract it with the, 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 the positive voice, the voice of the Holy Spirit. I pause, I can say, mm, thank you, but thank you, thank you, but no thanks. I've heard you, I've recognized you thought, I know you're there, but I don't have to believe you. I don't have to own you because you do not come from me. I learned that every thought that comes in my head is not of my own because there are two voices that are speaking. See, it, it's not necessarily from my spirit. There is the enemy that is trying to put this, so these thoughts of failure, of defeat constantly. And if, I, if someone walk past me and I start judging them, like, oh, they are this, they are that, immediately, I say, oh, you thought, yes, you've come through my head to judge that person, but I don't judge them. You see, I am not their judge. God is. And I try to counteract the negative thoughts with the voice of God, with the word of God. Like how Jesus, what Jesus did in the desert when the enemy was busy testing him, telling him, giving him all sorts of tests. And he used the word of God. It is written. It is written. Don't just think it. Open your mouth and speak. Open your mouth and counteract 
the evil thought, the thoughts of defeat that are telling you you can't, or you're not there, you're not this, you're not that, counteract it immediately. You can't just defeat thought by thought. Open your mouth and speak. Speak something that is contrary to what the negative voice is telling you. See, the Bible tells us that let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. See? Why? You see, you don't have to be rich to confess richness. You need to believe that you're rich and you need to be able to speak. It says, let the weak say. It doesn't say let the weak just think that they are uh, strong and then they'll be strong. No. Say. Open your mouth. Say it. So when I'm hearing these voices of defeat, this critic voice telling me you can't, I'm like, no, 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 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Thank you, but no thanks. There are days when I'm, I'm like, let's say, exhausted from work. And when someone asks, oh, God, how did your week go? Or how did your day go today? And I can hear myself at the age of saying, oh, my God, I'm exhausted beyond measure. My body is shattered, like we always say. But immediately, I say, mm -mm, I am strong, honey. Thanks for asking. I feel strong. I may not feel it, but I can't. I refuse to confess that I'm weak. I refuse to confess that I can't. So I try to be positive. I try to challenge the second voice, the voice of the critic that is speaking to me constantly. Because if you keep listening to that voice, let me tell you something today. You never go anywhere. A lot of those plans that you have, you never accomplish them. Because it will always tell you that you can't. It will always tell you that you're not in that category of people that can achieve that. It will always tell you that you're defeated. So learn to recognize the voice in your head. Learn to recognize your thoughts. Learn to differentiate which ones are from your spirit and which ones are from the, 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 the demonic side. Learn to recognize that not every thought that is coming in your head is true. It's not necessarily the truth. But the word of God is truth. And whatever the Holy Spirit says, that is what the truth is. So thank you very much for tuning in today. And I hope you start challenging and questioning the thoughts that go through your head on a daily basis. Thank you very much.